cinematography is all about the world of the story, the world that you're immersing your audience in. Every cinematographer has a different process for how they go about diving into that world because really the key is you have to connect with that world, you have to embrace it, you have to just dive into it and immerse yourself in it in order to be able to properly visualize it and communicate it to an audience. Welcome to Shots with Catherine. <laughs> Thanks for watching Shots with Catherine. Quote of the day. Of all the gin joints in all the towns and all the world, she walks into mine. Even I know that's from Casablanca, but as you can probably guess, I have not seen it. I'll add it to my list. So how do I go about diving into the world of the story to bring it to life? No brainer, start by reading the script. And then I read it again. I want to be familiar enough with the script so that over the course of the next few days or weeks, I can have the script just bouncing around in my head. I can have the story, the characters, everything in the back of my mind. To me, it's so important to really immerse myself in the world of the story because I think that even subconsciously, that has the power to influence the way I think when I have all of that in the back of my mind. The next time I read the script, that's going to influence the way I see the story in my head. After I've read the script, after I've gotten familiar with it and have let it bounce around in my head, I like to take the time to work with the director to really understand the characters and the story and the film as a whole. I always ask, what are the characters' backstories? And how do these characters change over the course of the film? Are they representing anything? What's the overall emotional journey of the film? Let's go scene by scene. What do you want the audience to feel? How are the characters feeling? What are you trying to say with this film on the whole? I just try to get into their head because it's so important that I am understanding this world just as well as they do because I'm gonna be bringing it to life visually. Read the script, meet with the director, shot list. We have that preliminary process, but the creative process, the way that I dive into the world of each story, that's different every time. For example, so right now I am working on a one location horror short. This project was postponed due to coronavirus, unfortunately, but in preparation, the director has given me several other films to watch that have some sort of loose inspiration or influence on his work. I'm watching these other one location horror films and these are films, mind you, that are completely different from the plot of the film that I'm shooting, but in some way they've inspired some component of this other film. And watching these films is also putting me in the mindset of the story, helping me get into that scary horror movie mindset so that I can apply that to how I think about shot listing it. So last year I worked on a modern noir film which was inspired by classic vintage noir films. In preparation for this film, the director gave me several different noir films from different eras to watch so that I could get a better feel for noir as a genre on the whole, and also so that I could see what were the key elements of each decade and see how he fused those together in this film. And that was an interesting creative challenge because the goal of this film was to build a world and create a look that drew inspiration from vintage noir films and infusing them with modern elements as well. Another interesting challenge of that film in particular was the director wanted to shoot it so that it would look good both in color and in black and white. I'll do a whole episode in the future about that. I've done another project where the way we got into the world of the story was very different. This was a dark comedy action film. The main character of that story was the singer in a punk band and the director of that film, he derived a lot of influence from music. And going into the project, he'd made a playlist for the film as a whole and playlists for each of the main characters. And so music was a huge part of how I got into the world of that story. So I listened to all of these playlists. I listened to them over and over. And after that, I even made my own playlist for the film based on all of the songs I'd heard, based on all of the conversations that I'd had about the film, about the characters, about the world with the director. And so I took all of that and I made my own playlist that was inspired by the film. Doing that, surprisingly enough, even though it had nothing to do with lighting or camera or shot listing, 
that really helped me. I felt like I was getting into the mind of the characters, into the mind of the story. I almost felt like I was thinking like the story. So as a result, I felt really connected to that world. So in a nutshell, as a cinematographer, that is always where my creative process starts. Reading the story, absorbing the story, understanding it, getting as much information as I possibly can about that world, and then finding a way to connect with it, to completely immerse myself in it, before moving on to the more technical aspects of pre-production, like lighting, shot listing, cameras, gear, etc. Because truly understanding the world and the story, that is what will put me in the right mindset to make the most effective and the most powerful creative choices once I move along to the technical aspects. And creativity is such a hard thing to define. Everybody has different ways of connecting to material that they're working on. I consider myself extremely lucky if I'm able to work on a project with another filmmaker who has a different process, who shares with me what they do, and maybe we can learn from each other. Maybe That's the beauty of it, just by working in this industry, by constantly connecting with and collaborating and creating with other people, you see how they do things, they see how you do things, and it's just this beautiful collaborative flow that I think shapes everybody's creative process. Thank you so much for watching Shots with Catherine. I know this should be a shot glass, but I don't actually have any shot glasses. And if you have any questions, comments, spam emails, hate mail, drop them in the comments or slide them into my DMs. Have a great weekend. Mm -hmm.